How are you doing and how have you been? My name is Tazastical and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, as I like play and unpause, because apparently the game doesn't like, nothing really loads. We have a set of problems to deal with today. However, thanks to the glorious people in Discord, I actually think we have problems, or solutions I should say, to all of them. So, what I'm saying is... Get out of the Discord! Basically carry me through this game. So, the first problem that we're going to have to deal with today is the natural gas is all but gone. And we've still got 21.3 cycles. In hindsight, I'm not saying I should have beelined to it, but I should have beelined to it. I should have got that up really, really quickly. Because now we're at the point where we rely on it. And now we're struggling a little bit more. I'm hoping next time that it turns on. We're going to get a couple more tanks. Because if we could get. Let's say four tanks or something like that. I actually think we're going to. We would actually be really really golden. Right so. What are we going to do? We are going to tame these. Now it was my understanding that these were tamed. But apparently you need a grooming station and all that to tame them. What are the problems that that's going to cause? Well, these little critters, as I flashbang everyone, cause the hydrogen gas up here. So what we're going to do is... Can I bring this ladder? Right, there we go. So then we shove tiles back there. Actually, I'm going to have to do that one first, otherwise they're going to get stuck and they won't be able to do it. And that will just um, agitate me ever so slightly. Just slightly. Not by much. Just slightly. Okay. Right, then put that tile there. Slowly clear. Oh, I... Oh, no. I'm going to need... Because then if I go here, the hydrogen is going to sit up here. So then I copy that pump. Chuck that pump there. And we could always make this bit a little bit bigger as well. But then the hydrogen is always going to push up into that little gap. To try and make it, obviously, the highest point possible. Um, and then I need a gas pump, a gas pump. It's because it's too big. So the maximum it can be is 96. So it's only three, it's three tiles too big. Um, not a problem. I can't believe I just built, um, got rid of all my ladders, but it's fine. Right, let's move this over there, and I'll just bring that corner in. A little bit awkward, but at least we... Not a, um, difficult fix. So, uh, so you want cobalt or an aluminium? Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Right, there we go. So that will get stored in there, so then we can feed the critters. We're going to build the ladders up there, so then we can just bring this in ever so slightly. And it needs to come in by three squares, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Because then what I'll do is I'll go one, two, three. And that should be fine. Don't know if that counts. So I'm going to whack that there just to see if that counts. Because then it's basically most of the stuff that's sitting here is either oxygen or polluted oxygen. Meaning then it pumps out here. And yes, oxygen rises. But then it gives this a chance for the hydrogen to make sure it can get up here. If that makes sense. So what I should probably do here is... We're cooking on gas today. Talking about cooking on gas. Get ready to ignite your funny bone with... The Fuel Fanastics at Tazastical. Like, subscribe, see you on Twitch. Bye. Yeah, let's get this done. And then we can build a bit. Because this would be so much better if we can get the airflow here. Because it's naturally going to push up a lot easier. So that would make sense. Food-wise, we're doing fine. We have got blueprints. So let's just quickly check it out. Seeds, seeds. The reed seeds are actually really, really nice. We've got two colonists, increased medicine, immune to food poisoning is actually really, really good. Grossman isn't the worst colonist I've ever had. 
I'm tempted to do the reeds and stuff like that, in all honesty. That's not a terrible plan. Not the best plan, but it's not a terrible plan. <laughs> goes to the white and then that will all hook up because what I would actually then like to do is be able to leave this colony so that I can focus on the second colony for a little bit while they're doing all these dastardly deeds but that should get us up it's not the sexiest setup in the world maybe if I can get a little bit clever I can make this even more compact and put the reservoirs just literally up like here which would actually look really really nice but I think just for the moment, let's just get the system up, let's get the system working, and then we'll worry about improving it. I think it's probably the better way to do that. Right, that's all queued up, that's nice, they can get to everything there. That is semi-success. I don't think there's much else. So this I might as well disable. I'll end up deconstructing them at some point, but that will use power. So obviously I'd prefer them not to waste it. In the slightest. We've still got hydrogen sitting up there, but obviously it's not a big, big, big problem. And then after this, we will have to get the research stuff up, but obviously now we've got the power up, that's the big first thing. God, that took me a long time to get to that. We're here now. We've done it. It's all good. It's all cool as a cucumber. And... So, as much as I don't want to prioritise it in the slightest, now we need to go over to the, the second base. And sort out the second base. And the second base is in even worse shape than the first one, so this is going to be fun. So, the problem with this one is our chlorine meta. Oh, I wish it was a meta. So at the moment, we're just having to make food from this. We've got all our pipes set up because basically our base is so, so cold. We need to warm up the water, which we are trying to do. Oh, it's an ever. This game is just like you sort one thing out and then another thing just like bites you in the bum. We need to get the chlorine out. We're trying to get the pump and everything to get the chlorine out. The mini pods... I don't want any of them at the moment. I know the reeds are not too bad, but it's like we're not going to use them. We've got the airlock here, so then hopefully we can, once we start pumping the chlorine out, we're going to be in a better position. Basically, it all just stems from getting this up. And once we can start to get this up, now we've even got the system up here to start pumping oxygen around the base. It's just, okay, the manual airlock is up, so that's good. So at least the chlorine is limited, which is something. So that's going to help a lot, because at least then the cook isn't under like immense stress and whatnot. So I'm glad we prioritised getting that door up. That is one thing. Like if we can get the pump up and all this, that's going to be the next. But anything that happens in this colony is going to be so slow. There's not going to be too much we're going to be able to do about it. It's just making sure... I suppose one thing that we could do is make sure certain stuff is prioritised over other things. Because actually, this is another thing that we could actually be prioritising. Because if we can get this up, we can start pumping oxygen in the base, which is obviously really, really good. Which, actually, we should probably prioritise over pumping out the chlorine, which I know sounds really weird. But if we pump oxygen in, at least we've got oxygen in. It's still going to share its its place with... Yeah, it served us well. We've built a door here, so it's actually in oxygen. So it actually produces food. It keeps this colony alive, put it that way. Because this one was just obviously sitting in chlorine, which isn't the best idea we've ever had. So the problem here is just everything's going to go so slow... Because they've all got to work in the chlorine. So we've got the chlorine gas pump queued up. We've got, so how about temperatures? We, we, we haven't got anything. The This isn't running. Nothing's running at the moment. Because then, so we need to pump the chlorine out. We need to pump oxygen in. However, we need the power to heat this up to be able to heat the base up. So it's like we need so many things all at once. 
And I don't quite know how we're going to power this base up yet. Yeah, we've got a really, really, really cold base. So this is the second map that we're trying to colonize because we really want this um, geyser to come back to the main base. But we've got a cold map. We've got chlorine all in our base. Yeah, annoying how it stores heat. Trying to cool mine right now. So it's like our base is sitting at like minus 21 in most places or, you know, roughly around there. It's just we can't, there's no heat source on the map. There is a volcano, which might be here, but we just can't get to it, which is, it is what it is. Yeah, so we're going to try and grow some food in there, which actually, if I prioritize that for five, because I do want that to be prioritized, I'm going to prioritize this for four, because there's no point worrying about getting rid of it. I'm learning the game. I thought it was a clever move to teleport at this point. <laughs> so basically what we did was I sent a suicide squad to this map and we got like three people died. <laughs> but the map is at a point where some, you know, they can sort of live here. You've got a cosmetic lock, uh, by the way. Oh, thank you. I always forget these are here. See what we got. Basic bubblegum pants. A clean pair of bubblegum pink plants that go with everything. Hmm, questionable. Oh, I've got loads of these that I haven't been doing every first hour. I always forget. I love that these are in this game. <gasps> Basic red shoes. They do not go with everything. Oh, I've got loads of these. A soothing purple wallpaper. Oh god, how many of these do I actually got? <laughs> uh, shake holder undershirt? I feel like we're really, like, hooking up the colonists. Oh god. I, I might have, like, a thousand. We might have to have a break. Some gla Oh, they look cool, actually. They creak lo rather loudly during the break-in period. Oh god, I'll come back to that in a bit. I might have a million. I probably only got one more, but still. Usually it's three per week. Yeah, I might have not done it in a while. We're not going to be able to power everything in the base. Because we've got a slight problem. I think it's fine, though. I feel like we've powered the bottom half of the base, which is more important. Because the way, obviously, I've done the power... I mean, I've done the power very nicely, because obviously I've split the power... things. I'm concerned, like, if I... attach this to the other power... Don't look at potential load, it's fine. Where's your oxygen supply? Questions like that... are aggressive. <laughs> Where's your oxygen supply? That's a good question. That is a good question. It's a very good question. <laughs> We don't really have an oxygen supply. We haven't really got a way of making oxygen, really. So we're on a map that was basically like... Well, as you can see, it's a bit scummy. I was looking around and got confused. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't be confused. If you see something, you're like, hmm, that looks odd. Just assume it's odd. <laughs> But we haven't got the room anywhere, so I'm just going to get the sandstone. This colony can just about survive. Uh, the plug sucks. They're cramped. That's fine. The hydrogen is getting pushed up there, so we're trying to make hydrogen. We're just basically lo lo losing power here. There's not really too much we can do. And I'll show you the old suicide planet in a minute. But, but just because we haven't really got anything to do, there's no point getting the... Uh, you activated the supply teleporters yet? No, because I need power and I ain't got power. So I'm going to get a couple of hamster wheels because actually... Oh, also, if you can send some tree acorns from the other colony. The problem is with the other colony... 
Let me go. So I'll just send you two down there, you two up there. I'll see what damage we could do. The problem with the other colony is getting to the trees. So the lushest, the lush forest that we were promised is right at the bottom. Or the main trees. Need to get some wheeze work seeds over for materials research. Only got 12 cycles and this bad boy is up, so it's actually not that bad. And then I'm hoping we shouldn't fall into the same problem because we're going to have longer more time to store all the gas from it get some more gas reservoirs and we'll just have to keep that in our back pocket that we know that can happen i'll be honest part of me wants to start again i could do this so much nicer <laughs> oh i could do this so much nicer do you guys get like this when you play this game? Do you like get to like a point where you're like, oh, I could have done it all better. I could have done it all nicer. I'd re I would recommend adding a smart battery to that hydrogen generator. Is it even worth it? I don't know if it'd even store any power. Okay. So we're going to have to go here. Ha, the base you saw on the screenshot I sent you is the tidiest one I've ever made. All right, we're going to have to go here. Remember, this is just going on the planet we don't care about. This is just to get another person through the door, just to help doing stuff. I don't quite know what they're going to do, but I didn't realize we were down to two people. Give me a name, chat. What are we going with? Name him idiot. I feel like you guys don't respect my um, colonists. I feel like the second colony. Do you know what we should do? We should brute force it. I know, you're already ears are twi twitching like, what do you mean brute force it? I think we just, every mini pod that comes in, we just keep sending colonists, sending them, sending them, sending them. Like World War One, when they stepped out of like the trench and they just kept walking forward into like gunfire. We just do it. We just keep sending them, keep sending them. Someone annoys us in the main base, we send them over, they're banned. And we just do it. We get a thousand people working here. Only four might survive, but then four... Yeah, throw dupes at the problem. I think I'm playing this too safe. I think I just throw as many. Throw as many of them as possible. Chat, you let me down. So I'll uh, name him Zeus them. Cool, cool, cool. Zeus. He is now the leader. <gasps> We're actually pumping gas. Oh, oh, it's glorious. Oh, it's amazing. We're pumping all the trash. I'm the trash man. Oh, I never thought I'd see the prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's happening. It's happening. Oh. So the problem is, is we actually have the infrastructure to get this up. Because the minute... Like, we got power up because we got that that's going to kick oxygen down to our base. So we've actually got the infrastructure to actually sort all this. I don't quite know how this colony... Like, why can't I just be left alone for two seconds? Oh. Ouch. No, don't say ouch. It's perfectly planned. It's fine. I was hoping to have this up by the time it started spilling over. That, that went well, as you see. As you see, that's a great plan. <laughs> Now we've got two colonies. Well, at least, at least, to be fair, it would have been weird if this would have been the only map. Oh no, come on, get it up, please. Please, double time, come on. It's spilling again. I know, chat, I'm going. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm trying. Um, get in the, get in the bog, boys. Get digging in the bog. 
Right. How are we doing pumping the chlorine out? Right, it is starting to actually fall down, surprisingly enough. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Doomed. A bit negative. I'm gonna, I'm not, gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna go so far to say it's hurt my feelings, but doomed it is. I would like to add doomed. <laughs> doomed. Yeah, the next one should be called doomed slayer. So at least when doomed like dies, we can blame it on someone else. And I would like to say that my plan of just throwing colonists at this base. I'm not going to say it's worked perfectly, but I'm not not going to say it didn't work. It worked perfect. Wait, what? What am I trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. Right. So that there works, right? Obviously, I know I need to deconstruct that. That there works, right? Oh, this is going to erupt soon. Now just get the Weezwort seeds from the other base and plant them into... Yay, there we go, baby. So we need to keep an eye on this. I probably should, if I've been clever, get the gas res reservoirs up now. But we have power! Huzzah! It's back. We're amazing. My heart's in the right place. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you see a hamster trying to eat a watermelon, you don't go, oh, you silly hamster, and you whack it like backhand it. You go, oh, that's cute. It's giving it a good try. Okay? So treat me like the hamster that's trying to get the watermelon. So, like, oh, no, oh, that's a good try. Like... It's probably worth deconstructing that for a bit, because I imagine the more overloaded the wires are, the worse it gets, right? It doesn't use power if it's not being used. Oh. Give me a bit of copium, chat. Give me a little bit of copium. Help me a little bit. Right, so the main base just needs to get gold over as quickly as possible, really, doesn't it? Come, like, look, this wire pipe let's go 999 go 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 we could be pumping hot water around the base ignore the power problems okay ignore the power problems we could actually have hot stuff around the base and i'm not just talking about me how many colonists do i have here whoops Probably should be um, building beds and stuff, really, shouldn't we? Yeah. I mean, they knew what they... what was going to happen to them if they came here. Like, doomed. <laughs> doomed. Yeah. Doomed knows what his name is. Right. We're going to get beds up. It's going to be fine. I should probably split where they all are as well. Doomed and idiot. Golden God. Dead meat. Okay, cool. So we've only got two toilets anyway. Can we prioritize getting that done, please? Can they actually get to that? They probably actually can't get to that, can they? They're all sulkers. Just reach, stretch a little bit. Put your back into it. Just ignore all the red bars and whatnot. We are literally about to pump hot water. Hmm. We're literally about to pump nothing because that's gone out. Oh, the wires are breaking. I'm just going to go to the other base for a minute, all right? Just to like. Right, have we got... Wait, what? Uh, why am I sending that? How much would it try a 1,000?
How do I get them to prioritize who's scolding and why? Just be nice to get that gold across. Although, actually you can see which selecting the errands tab. Question is, is how much? So this currently a minus five. Okay, let's see if this is going to make a difference. So let's go plumbing. I thought the bridge was upside down for a sec. All right, come on. If this warms up. I want to cheer, chat. Right, so it's coming round. It's not the hottest water in the world, but. Compared to our, what our base, this should be an absolute, like, loads coming round, loads coming round. I was about to say, mm, it's getting hotter, but it's not really, is it? Wait, no, don't say wait, it's all going well. Where's that brine coming from? We've actually got the second colony. Nearly there. No, but, no, but this time it's actually nearly there. Just need to send some gold over. The main colony coming in clutch. I'm hoping the gold is actually going to get like sent over sometime today. Actually, is that thing activated? Um, Does it need to be activated to load stuff into it? Do you have to activate it? I mean the teleporter. Yeah, do you have to activate it to get stuff in? Okay, um, I'm just going to take a two second... Um, two second break. Um... I'll be right back. I've... Oh. On both maps you do. Oh yeah, no, like, that. that's why. Oh, I'm back. It's because we're not up here yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it was okay apart from that. It's been an okay, it's been good apart from that. Like, a little, like... Ugh. It was going well, it was going good. I can't help it if you guys aren't paying attention. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. It changed the yeah, no, that's what I was just looking at. Well, it's fair to say there was a little bit of a boo-boo, a little bit of a boo-boo today, okay? Just a little one. Just a teeny tiny one. But we're pretty much up. We're pretty much up. We've got to send gold over, which we have gold. You guys, you know, you let the ball drop and didn't tell me to activate. But I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You can't be perfect, chat. And that's fine. That's fine. I don't ask for perfection. I demand it. So next time, just step up your game, okay? All right, party people. We'll be going about three hours. It's half ten. I'm tired. Everyone's mocked my colony. Oh, I think this is a nice place to leave it. And next time out, we're there. We are there. We all got there. Put, you know... Pat your back. Pat your back. Congratulate yourself. It wasn't that painful, was it? You don't need to answer that. Rhetorical, rhetorical question. It wasn't that bad. We got there. I mean, there's a lot of polluted water here. Space. The final frontier. I should, uh, I imagine if the music wasn't copyright, copyrighted, we could get that on.
But thank you very much, party people! Exclamation mark Discord in the chat! Exclamation mark YouTube to see. I mean, let's be honest, I'm so far behind on YouTube, I don't really know what to do with it, but I'm trying my best. And other than that, follow the stream, that's what people say. And I'll catch you night. Catch you night? <laughs> no night? I don't know what I was trying to say. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye!